Now, the dish I'm going to be making is an American classic. I'm adding a British twist and a taste of the sea. This is my crab benedict on an English breakfast muffin. Well worth some extra effort for a street food inspired gourmet breakfast. You will need water, warm milk, flour, melted butter, yeast and salt. And for the hollandaise, clarified butter, yolks from the eggs, lemon and white wine vinegar. And of course, the crab, we've got white crab meat and brown crab meat which we'll be mixing with creme fraiche. And all served on a bed of baby leaf spinach. So let's start with our muffin mix. It's going to add the plain flour, the yeast, and a good pinch of salt. Give it a good whisk, make a slight well, then add your water, warm milk, and melted butter, and then mix. Now I'm using warm milk because this is going to wake up the yeast and start to activate it. Now this is such a simple muffin mixture to make. Put all the ingredients into a bowl and just mix. Nice and super smooth, cover with cling film, and just put to one side for about an hour. I've got some here, and it's almost alive. It's fermenting and tripled in size. So on a hot griddle, on quite a low temperature, I've got these little baking rings. Now, if you don't have a griddle, a frying pan is fine. You take a brush, I've got a little bit of oil here, just put in the bottom. And then take a ladle full of the mixture, which is now like a batter, and spoon in. And you don't want to fill it all the way up, just about three quarters, because it is going to rise. And what's going to happen, they're just going to start to crisp up around the outside and then gently cook away in the middle for about 15 to 20 minutes. Now, let's start on the hollandaise. I've got a saucepan on heat, gently simmering some water. I'm going to take a bowl, I'm going to add the yolks of two eggs, some white wine vinegar and a juice of half a lemon. And then whisk and then put over the saucepan and just start whisking away. And then the heat from the water is going to hit the bottom of the bowl, start to heat the eggs through and we're going to make a sabillon. Now you can see it's doubled in size and then when you whisk you can see the ribbons all the way through. And that looks good enough to me. So now what I've got to do is add the clarified butter. Just really slowly, just start to pour in. One way to stop your hollandaise splitting is to make sure the clarified butter and the egg yolks are at the same temperature. And if it does start to split, you can always add just a touch of cold water just to bring it back to life again. And keep whisking until you've used all the butter up. So let's just put this to one side and keep warm. Now for the muffins. So they've been cooking away for about 15 minutes and they've set and taken shape. But what I want to do now is get some colour on the other side. I'm going to pour a little bit of oil onto the griddle and then very quickly turn them out and cook the other side. I mean, they smell fantastic. I love the way they look. It's lovely golden all over. So I've just cooked them for about one minute and I'm now going to put them back in their tins. They're a little bit soft in the middle still. So I'm going to put them on the tray and then to finish them off, Put them in an oven at about 160 degrees Celsius or 320 degrees Fahrenheit for about 10 minutes just to cook through. So I've got these lovely muffins ready. So let's start on the brown meat. I'm going to add some creme fraiche, a touch of pepper, and all I want to do is just warm it up. And another pan, and that's going to be for the baby spinach. And just start wilting down. And this is going to take about a minute. So the spinach is cooked, I'm going to take a bowl and a sieve and then just pour in. Now, because of the high water content in the spinach leaves, you really need to drain them a lot. Otherwise, you're just going to get a massive green juice on your plate. That's enough. So the spinach is cooked, hollandaise is made, I've got our white crab meat, muffins are ready, and the brown crab meat's been warmed through. So now let's get ready to serve. We get some lovely brown crab meat with the creme fraiche through it. I'm just going to neaten this up a bit. I want this to be the breakfast of champions. Now for the spinach, so a touch of salt and pepper and then lay on top of the brown meat. Now for the white crab meat, I'm going to pile it up as high as I can. Just a squeeze of lemon, a bit of pepper, and then of course the hollandaise. I'm going to spoon all over. And then I'm just going to lean the other muffin just on the side like so. And there it is. And I'm straight in here. What is there not to like about this? Oh, the texture of the muffin is lovely. It's still warm. And the brown meat at the bottom, layered with the spinach, and then the white meat, just a bit of lemon drizzle through it, and a lovely creamy hollandaise on top. Mm. My Crab Benedict with homemade English muffins. Breakfast perfection. Some spring onions. And I've got some of these lovely pickled walnuts. You're gonna get a real sharp vinegary flavour, which really helps add acidity to the salad. Now let's get ready to fill this. My first layer is going to be potatoes, onion and cheese. 
I'm seasoning each layer as we go with a little salt and pepper. 